A heartbreaking story from Jacksonville's north side. A mother tells News for Jacks her German Shepherd service dog was shot with an arrow this weekend while it was in her backyard. All this happening in Ocean Wave. News for Jacks digital reporter Travis Gibson spoke to her this morning about what happened. Uh, Travis, first off, how's the dog doing? Well, this is Khaleesi, and luckily she's doing okay. She's pretty tough and expected to recover, but the dog's owner said there was a time where she wasn't sure if the beloved family dog was going to survive. Kitty Bryant said she let her service dog Khaleesi out into the backyard on Saturday when the unthinkable happened. I was inside in my room and I heard her barking right outside my window. And then I heard like like an arrow and then I heard her yelp. Her foster daughter ran into the backyard and found this. I came outside and she was in front. She had an arrow through her stomach. So I thought she was a goner. But I called 911 and it... Um, then after I got off the phone with them, I called emergency vets so I could only find one vet. Bryant then rushed Khaleesi to the vet in Jack's Beach, and she had emergency surgery to remove the arrow from her GI tract. She credits the vet with saving her life, and Khaleesi is now at home recovering. But there are still questions about who would do such a thing and why. Like She's like really not a mean dog, and she likes the cats and stuff, so she was just barking. So I don't know if she was barking at somebody that made the didn't want her barking or what I it's just it's a crossbow so I don't think it was target practice by accident or anything Bryant said she filed a report with police and is asking anyone who might have seen what happened that morning to report it to JSO or animal control sadly this isn't the first time something like this has happened in 2020 a dog was found with an arrow through its head in Nassau County and miraculously survived Bryant has been receiving donations to go towards the nearly $5,000 vet bill she got for the emergency surgery. And the Community Pet Project is helping raise money. And if you want to chip in, there's more information on newsforjacks.com. Back to you. And Travis, as I understand it, that Khaleesi, uh, this really isn't the first traumatic experience uh, the dog has not endured? Yeah, unbelievably, the dog was actually hit by a car one time a few years ago, but recovered. And I know it's more of a cat thing, but it seems like this dog kind of does have nine lives. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we're so glad that Khaleesi is okay. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch the person responsible. Absolutely. Travis, thank you. Thank you.